That night, brain unbound, Bruce found his answer. Robots, sent in a space vehicle, could land on the moon and build a base, even before astronauts left Earth. When he woke, he began sketching, and the people at NASA liked the idea. The NASA civil servants who have written reports about how innovative the work is and how forward-thinking it is, and I credit this to sort of the unfettered world of dreams. The challenge is not to leave dreams to chance. We may be able to harness the sleeping brain's power by using a technique called lucid dreaming. Typically, lucid dreams happen when you're in a dream and some oddity occurs and you start to wonder, well, what's going on? Why are you floating up in the air? How do you do that? Oh, because it's a dream. The key is to learn how to know that you're dreaming without waking. The next step is to take the dream where you want it to go. To help, Stephen LeBurge made an ingenious mask. Inside, sensors detect rapid eye movement. The mask flashes a light, bright enough to pass through your eyelids, but not bright enough to wake you up. It's a gentle signal that you're dreaming. With practice, you can steer your dreaming brain, guiding your mind into uncharted territory. There are many different kinds of applications of this dream. For example, if you're an artist, want a new painting idea, you walk into the next room with the, the thought that there will be a new painting on the wall there, and what do you know, there is the painting. Managing dreams may be the only chance we get to influence what's normally out of our control, our brain. There's no more complex or mysterious organ than the human brain. It runs our lives, conscious and unconscious, often pushing us in directions of its own choosing. A three pound universe whose mysteries we are only starting to reveal. It's a journey of scientific exploration that could unlock potential we can't yet see pushing our bodies to 